Welcome back to Bindu Decodes, a series in which we decode all things beauty and skincare. Today, I'm going to decode the D of CTM for you. That's right, the toner, which seems to be a product that confuses many of you out there. Chances are that because you don't understand what a toner does, you skip this step. But let me assure you, this could be a big mistake. So what is a toner? Toners are designed to be used after you wash or cleanse your face. They are supposed to remove any residue or dirt and hydrate your skin. Toners prep your skin and make it ready to absorb whatever you may wish to apply. This could be a serum, moisturizer or a cream. Toners are generally quite fluid with a watery consistency. They can be clear or a slight tinge of color depending on the ingredients. So how do I use a toner? After washing your face, apply a dash of toner on a clean cotton pad and gently sweep across the face. If you use a floral water toner, you can follow it up with a spritz on your face after cleansing. Do not wash your face after using a toner. So how do I choose the right toner? If you have normal to combination skin, use a mild and gentle toner that will help prep and refresh the skin. If you have oily skin, look for a toner that has ingredients like witch hazel, salicylic acid and AHA. If you have dry skin that demands moisture and hydration, always read the ingredients and avoid anything with alcohol. Rose water toners and other floral toners are perfect for dry skin. So is the toner really necessary? We definitely think so. And we recommend you add it to your daily skincare routine and see the difference it can make to your skin. So that's it for today. If you learned something new, hit like and don't forget to subscribe.